Well, it's a travel day today. We're heading out of Utah and going to Idaho for a couple weeks and it never fails, but it always rains. We had fun here with the baby. Oh, he's just so adorable. We'll be back here in a couple weeks to make our way maybe east somewhere. Not sure yet with all this stuff going on. So anyways. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright So you might be wondering why we're going to Twin Falls, Idaho. Well, we're on our way to the West Coast HDT Rally, Heavy Duty Truck Rally, in Caldwell, Caldwell. Idaho. It doesn't start till a week from tomorrow, so we're gonna go to Twin Falls, hang out for a couple days, bring you guys along to the West Coast Truck Rally. I'll probably do a separate video, check out the trucks and, and all that kind of thing. At least for now, we're making our way that way, and. We finally got out of the rain. It looks like it's going to rain on us again, but um, yeah, we're traveling again. That's what's important. That's what we love to do. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm. There's one up there. Yeah. Look over and there. there's one way out there. The other ones I think we can get a little closer to. And there's the bridge. Wow. That's a heck of a view. The Snake River, Twin Falls, Idaho. And there's the bridge. We're looking for base jumpers. There's the truck down there. There's Tina. <laughs> so we just drove down to Centennial Park. It's pretty neat. Um, that's where you can rent kayaks and paddle boards and that sort of thing and jump out on the river. Um, let me show you the road. There's a waterfall and the road is all the way up by the visitor center. Visitor center is kind of around where that cantilever is right there sticking out. But uh, <laughs> Tina's dream home. I don't, yeah, wow. Anyway, so we drove down to Centennial Park. A shout out to Eula, one of our longtime followers and friends. Eula asked if we were gonna do a video with Twin Falls. There's more to come. We're gonna go to the actual falls and all that kind of stuff um, here in a minute. But this is for you, Eula. So enjoy. Before I sleep. Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life so this is Shoshone Falls. We just came up from Centennial Park and we drove out about six miles from there to uh, the Shoshone Falls. It's pretty spectacular. Oh, us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. So that was Shoshone Falls. That was pretty cool. That's been on my bucket list for so long. Seeing everybody's pictures. Oh my God goodness was it beautiful yeah that's probably the i don't know one of the most epic ones we've seen and you can get so close to it too yeah. which makes it cool well the ones in uh, what was it mount rainier were pretty awesome but i don't yeah. know this one yeah pretty amazing yes oh. Well, 
Well, this is Balanced Rock Park. Wow. Still <laughs> Idaho? <laughs> yeah, this is Idaho. Balanced Rock is actually up the road about a mile, so we're going to head up there in a second. But we wanted to pull in here and check this out. Um, if you have a small camper or something like that, you, you know, you can camp down here. They got a few spots, less than 10, I think. I didn't count. They have picnic tables you can see down there, and they have fire rings, and then they have. Probably go bigger than that trailer there. Maybe a half a dozen camp spots, but yeah, you can't go any bigger than that out back because uh, there's some low hanging branches. There is a class A back there, probably a 35 though. footer. It so look as tall as the newer ones. Yeah, I don't know if it is or not. It's pretty neat little place, little hidden gym. Yeah, look uh, where the water is. Yeah, we came through some uh, some nice. farm fields and some dairies, and all of a sudden, boom! Well, you saw the drive coming in down through this little canyon. That was pretty neat. Let's see here. I don't know if you can see down in the water how clear it is. Wow. So pretty, clear. huh? When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright <laughs> Okay, now we're going to go find Balanced Rock. It's supposed to be pretty cool. It's up the road. The science is a mile, so let's go see. So that is Balanced Rock. We're gonna hike up there to it, but this is kind of the parking area off the road. Um, it wasn't a mile, it was, I mean, that park we were just at, it was just down that hill, so maybe a quarter of a mile. There it is. So we're gonna get Maggie out of the truck and hike up to it. Well, we took you guys down to the bottom, to the Centennial Park. Now we're back up top. Here's the bridge. Visitor Center is just over behind Tina. And um, we're going to take a walk down this pathway. We're going to go this direction. And a couple miles down is the Evil Knievel Junk Site. So we're going to walk down there and see if we can find it and bring you along. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Evil Knievel jump site is right down there. I think it's that mound. I'm not sure, but uh, it's like another two miles. We're not going to walk that far. It's like, it's like 95 degrees. It's a gorgeous waterfall, and of course, the Snake River. Look at all the paddle, paddlers. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them or not way out there. Maybe too far for the camera to pick up. It's gorgeous. It's like 95 degrees. We're just going to stop walking right here and then uh, head back to the truck, but. We wanted to show you the beauty of this gorge. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, you can imagine him jumping the gorge anyway from here. Thanks for coming along with us here in Twin Falls, Idaho. It's the first time we stopped and actually did some sightseeing in this little town. So I'm sure we'll be back another we'll be time. Because there's so much to do here. Yeah, we just scratched the surface on what we've done while we've been here. There's so much to do in Southern Idaho. So if you- Pretty impressive. Yeah, if you've not had Southern Idaho on your list, 
Uh, go online, check it out. There's tons and tons of stuff here to do. I'm really surprised, to be honest, how much there is to do in Idaho. Mm -hmm. You think Idaho, you think potatoes. <laughs> Sunday, we're going to leave here. We're going to head up to the West Coast HDT Truck Rally, and we're going to see a bunch of HDT trucks and some friends that we met in Quartzsite, and we're going to hang out for a week with those good folks. So look forward to a video about the West Coast HDT Truck Rally 2020. And that's what's coming up. And yeah. then we have some big things on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Actually, one big thing, but uh, we'll save that secret to another video. Thank you for coming along with us again. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If and then, not, give us a thumbs down. Tell, tell us what we can do better. That's right. And until next time, safe travels. Bye. Oh.